What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen, welcome back to Tactical Bass. And today we're out on the boat together, bringing you a little fishing video. We've been covering a lot of in-depth techniques. Today we're gonna kinda do a lipless crankbait video for you. Some fishing, some teaching, should be a good one. Let's go. Little guy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> he wanted it. That's that Jackal TN70. It's a start. Come here, you. He got his forehead up. He doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Better fish. Come here, friend. <laughs> Hello. That'll work. Got him. You know, in the fall, we talk a lot about power fishing and we've done some in-depth videos for you on jig fishing, square bill and swim bait and jerk baits. The lipless is one topic we haven't gotten to yet and it is so effective this time of year. I think we'll probably stick a few more fish and then we'll get into some of the details, but it is a fun way to catch them. So what we've got going on here is something that you see a lot in the fall. Bass corralling bait fish up into a pocket. This is shallow water and that's why we've got our spools loosened up. We're both throwing 70 size reels and we are just sending these baits just as far up into those shallows as we can get. Because if you take a boat up in those shallows, those fish aren't having it. They'll bail right out. But if we can keep the boat back and we can make super long casts up there into a foot, two, three, four feet of water, that we can keep catching those fish. Because as long as they've got the bait fish corralled, in this case, one to three inch thread fin shad seems to be what they're spitting up. As long as the thread fins are here, the bass will be here if we don't disturb them. And the lipless is one of those baits that you can make incredibly long casts. And then if you notice, we're bottom hopping. 
We'll probably catch some burning them too, I would imagine. But right now we're just hopping bottom with that thing. That bait, it flutters up. When, we, when Tim pulls like that, that bait flutters up off the bottom and makes all that racket and then it falls back down. It pendulums back down. Rattles up, pendulums down. And as it's on that pendulum, dong, they smoke that thing. And it is a fun way to fish. <laughs> oh, he pulled oh, off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Brutal. Little guy, but he wanted it. He ate that thing whole. Largemouth? Yeah. I'm getting the little whites and you're getting the largemouth. <laughs> okay. I'm not complaining. I upgraded the hooks on this swim tracks. These are BKKs. If you can see that curved point, those hooks are brutal. If they get hooked on that, it's over. Got the right species. Thanks, dude. Come back. He fouled me up. Big ones, little ones, we'll take them all if they want to bite on almost every cast. It's awesome. He's got it T-boned. Look how he ate that. That's when they want it. Doubled up? Yep. Nice. There's every cast and then there's two at a time. 
Oh. You're good at catching those white bass. <laughs> this is just a white bass kind of day for me. Come on, Spaz. and 70 bass. Thanks, dude. We've got one hook. I'm gonna get him there. Nice. <laughs> that is so fun. Color change. Good one too. Going under? Oh, he's going the other way. Where's he going? He's going, out. He's going to the other county. So I'm not sure if this guy was running from this one or he tried to eat it. But a little bit of a color change. First hop. Got the right species. Amazing a little color difference like that. Thanks, bud. So Matt was kicking my butt with that white lipless. I was throwing that chrome shad. Made a little bit different uh, adjustment on color in that first hop. That fish smoked that TN70. It's crazy when they're this fired up that color can matter when you think it shouldn't. Those weren't whites. Well, I could not get good over there before. Say it wasn't random. Color flame. Amazing is what it is. Like you would think ghosts would be the deal. Right. Nope. So much fun when they're eating a lipless. Okay, open your mouth, dude. Thanks, bud. Like Matt talked about, we're just doing that yo-yo technique, throwing it up there in inches of water, and they're hitting it on the first, sometimes the first hop, 
sometimes you know five or six hops but pretty cool when they want it they get it That is fun. I was burning that one. You'll notice we have not lost a fish today. That other one had BKKs. These are Gamakatsu EWGs. That's what I like on my larger baits. But any of these tipped in points different baits like a top water you need straight up and down points jerk bait straight up and down those are baits that fish slap at when they come up to eat them they slap so you need those points as far out as you can get them but a lipless particularly when we're bottom hopping the fish don't slap it they inhale it and a bait that they inhale if you go to tipped in points, and we'll link all this stuff in the video description, the baits, the hooks, all that stuff. So you don't have to try and remember, but those tipped in points, a bait that they fully inhale, those will hook up great. And the hookup to land ratio is so much higher. If you can hook them on that EWG style with those turned in points, you will land so many more fish. Of course, the right gear makes all the difference too. We'll get to all that. You know, I'll bet a third of the fish I've hooked have come when I'm trying to clear it and I rip it even harder than normal. And they just crush it. <laughs> Switched over to that slightly smaller TN60. Same result. Man, when they want that lipless. You can't hardly take it away from them. Yeah. 
hard to rip. Nice. The fish too. Matt and I were just talking. It's crazy how many different different retrieves there are for the lipless. We've talked about the, the yo-yoing, the straight retrieve, and uh, now we're just talking. The way we're getting bit now is really almost like you're clearing your grass off your bait. You're really popping it really hard and they're just coming unglued and smashing it. Get one? Yep, when I cleared it. Nice one. As he was talking about it, that's what happened. So we tend to pull these baits pretty subtle, right? Just flutter them up, pendulum down, flutter them up. But if you ever get stuck in the junk in grass or whatever, you tend to rip it really hard to try and break that stuff free from the hooks. And we had several where we were doing that, trying to rip it and clear it, clear the hooks, and that turned into a fish. So we started ripping harder like this on purpose and it's turning into more bites. Sometimes little changes, you know, we made that adjustment in color. Now we're making an adjustment in how hard we're ripping. We're switching back and forth between different baits, playing with different sounds and sizes. And all those things can help you take a fun bite, really dial it in, take it to the next level. All right guys, now that uh, we had a little bit of fun catching some fish, let's do a little bit of teaching. You know, Matt hit on some really key points earlier in this video about hook points, about colors, retrieves. I'll kind of go over some of that stuff again, but uh, another really important aspect of the fall lipless game is the different types of baits, the different styles of falls, uh, fall rate. Um, you know, that's why we have three or four different main lipless baits you know we got the the lv 500 we have the tn70 the rattle trap the nomad all of these baits have different wobbles different fall rates sink rates and different vibrations some are real tight some are real wide but it all matters for instance today the fish are there we know where they're at they're all around us and we had to adjust, I had to adjust multiple times my colors because it was obvious they didn't really want, I and mean, this is hands down my favorite color, but today they just weren't eating it. Got it over here on the carpet just a second. Right there. That's such a beautiful TN70, but Matt had me like, I don't know, a lot to a little, maybe seven, eight, eight to one it seemed like. And the fish I was catching were the white bass, not even the large mouth. As soon as I made some changes to some chromier or more white colors, I started catching the large mouth and bigger and better ones. So just the little subtleties you can play around with, but uh, let's talk about baits real quick and the reasons why we have the different baits in our arsenal. So if you're looking for one lipless crankbait, well, I'll give you two. If you're looking for two lipless crankbaits to try, if you want to try to get into this category, I'm gonna go with this guy right here, the Jackal TN70. This is a great yo-yoing bait. You can burn it, burn, 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 pause, burn, 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 pause. You can yo-yo it, you can straight retrieve it, but it's a, it's a heavier bait, either half ounce, five eighths or three quarters. So you get that really fast fall. That works really, really well for that yo-yoing technique you guys saw us doing. And then the tried and true Bill Lewis rattle trap. That's a bait right there. It doesn't break the bank, has great sound to it, comes with good hooks on it. Uh, we upgrade all of our hooks, but it comes with EWGs on it. Um, but that's a lighter bait. So it has that same large profile, but three quarter versus half ounce. Completely different sound too, if you guys hear. So if you find yourself on a big grass flat or an area where you don't have a lot of depth and you just want to burn above the grass, as you tip, tick the tops of the grass, you can you know pump or rip it through. That's when we're gonna go with that rattle trap, okay? A lot lighter bait, easier, you're not hung up as often. And again, 
those EWGs help two things. With those tipped in points, they help, uh, they don't hang up in the grass as as much, as easy as a, you know, uh, a typical, just a normal treble hook. Or, and when those fish eat them, like Matt talked about earlier, once those fish get that EWG style hook in the roof of their mouth, it's a lot harder for them to come up and throw that bait. That's really, really important when you're throwing those heavier lipless cranks, right? When they come up and they just have one hook in the roof of the mouth and they come up and that three quarter ounce LV500 is going back and forth, having that upgraded hook on there makes all the difference in your hook to land ratio. So a couple of the baits that we really like to throw. So we mix and match. Out West, that LV500 was hands down our best bait. That was a, a bait that Matt and I have caught multiple double digits on. As we've traveled across the country, it seems like they tend to like that TN70, TN60 a little bit, a little bit better. I don't know why. You have to play around with it on your fishery. Uh, the cool thing about the TN series is you can get them in the TN80, which is bigger, the TN70, this guy right here, the 60 and the 50. So if you're on one of those fisheries where they're really keyed into smaller bait, I don't have one out here. Oh, here's a 60 for you. Here's a 60 compared to a 70. Throwing that smaller lipless, still have a heavier, you know, half ounce or so, throwing that smaller profile will get you more bites. Talked about the rattle trap. The other one is this guy right here. Now this is a new bait that we've been playing around with and we would like it. It's kind of, it's really the closest lipless bait that we throw. Uh, it's the closest to like a blade bait. It still has some rattle to it. It's a little bit smaller. Look at it compared to that TN70. This is the Nomad Swim Tricks Max. Okay, Matt talked about those BKK hooks. Look at that hook point, how much more angled in they are than let's say like a, a Gamakatsu, just EWG, just has a little bit more tipped in point. Um, this thing is a really cool bait. Again, it's a subtle vibrate, like subtle sound, but a real wide vibration. So it's almost like a combination between like a Demiki Vault blade bait and uh, you know your TN70 or your LV500. Really, really excited about that guy right there. So we talked about that. We talked about the rattle trap, the LV, and the 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 uh, jackal that TN70. That's kind of our go-to, right? As far as colors. For the most part, I try to keep it as natural and flashy as possible, right? I'm going with those American shad, right? Those those shad colors. But then today, Matt was kicking my butt on, on this guy. I'm definitely going to go home and order a few because I don't even own this one. <laughs> He's laughing back there in the background. But uh, I should just cut this one off and throw it in the trash this is Matt's only one too. So we're both going to be racing to order. It's just fish are funny, right? Here we're around fish that are eating thousands of real bait fish. They don't look anything like this. But again, I guess it's the reason you throw a blade on a flashy swimmer, right? You want your bait to stand out from the thousands of real ones and having that, that wider belly, I guess they could just see it a lot better or it stood out to them a lot more than your your real natural chromey looking baits. So uh, definitely gonna be ordering some of those. But for the most part, I go with the shad patterns. Uh, if I'm on a on a maybe a crawdad fishery or even in spring, I'm going with those reds and oranges. But for the most part in the fall, I'm, I'm sticking with some kind of shad color, like chartreuse shad, something that looks, resembles those threadfin shad. As far as gear, it could be as simple as grabbing your favorite 7.2 to 7.4 medium heavy moderate action rod and catching fish on a treble hook bait. But if you want to dive down that rabbit hole, you definitely want to get a crankbait rod. You guys know that we love um, the Loomis. This is the 855 CBR, right? For years, it was that 845. Now they have that 855. Uh, through all of the years of Matt and I throwing lipless cranks, we've spent hundreds of hours fishing different rods and trying it. And, and it's come down to, to this guy right here. This is a hands down our favorite 
favorite lipless rod. Uh, it's not, it's not cheap. It's fairly expensive. The good thing about the Loomis line is you can get them in lower uh, price points and still have that same uh, 845 or 855, that same action. So we love that guy. Reels real quick. I like throwing them on a seven to one or an eight to one gear ratio reel. Reason being when you're hopping, right? You got to catch up to that bait. Sometimes you hop on that fall, dunk, you got to catch down and, 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 and set on them, right? So I like having the ability to reel down and catch up to those fish. You guys saw it. some of those fish we hooked. I mean, we were burnt. We were, we were trying to catch up to them because they eat it and take off. So having that extra speed on the gear, uh, extra speed with that gear, higher gear ratio reel is a must. So a seven or eight to one gear ratio reel. Again, typically we're throwing braid to a leader. That is a massive tip I want to talk about. I almost brushed over it. Uh, earlier in today's video, I was throwing braid to a 12 pound leader. We're fishing fairly shallow, less than three or four feet. And I was getting hung up in the muck a lot more than Matt was. I was throwing that 12 pound leader. Well, that allows my bait to fall faster than the 15 or 20 pound leader that he was using. So I actually went and put a uh, 15 pound mono on my leader when I started catching more fish. I was able to work that bait properly and not get down in that muck on bottom and got and getting hung up. And then later we talked about techniques, how we fish them. But later we talked about, um, we really keyed in on that, that rip. It's almost like, it's not like a flutter spoon where you're, where you're pulling it, but it's like you're, you're popping your rod to, to break that bait free of whatever debris or grass you have on the hooks. And as soon as you pop it, they're smoking it. It's crazy that those fish, even that shallow can chase a bait, just ripping out of that grass or ripping through their, through their area just and eat it. They were getting the hooks better on that rip than they were when we were doing the hop. You know, we had some outside, we had some on the side. They just were kind of sh slashing at it, but that rip, they were just choking it. So you'll have to play around with a different, uh, strength and cadences on your, on your yo-yoing. Sometimes it's just that straight retrieve where you're throwing that rattle trap add those little pauses, little cadence adjustments. But uh, today they seem to really, really like that real aggressive rip. If you're on a grass fishery, that's probably what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna rip that bait out of that grass and they're gonna smoke it as soon as it clears that grass. But uh, down below in the video description, we'll link our favorite baits, colors, uh, hook adjust, uh, uh, upgrades, and then um, probably, probably, you know, line leader, all that good stuff. Cause there's a lot to it, but again, you don't have to go down deep that rabbit hole. Again, we've we've uh, we've been doing this for years. It's one of my favorite ways to catch them, especially in the the spring and the fall. But right now, it's a great way to cover a lot of water. You can throw these things a country mile, and uh, the fish just eat them. So there it is, guys. Fall lipless crankbait fishing, kind of a down and dirty. You get to see how we did it, how we made adjustments through the through the couple of hours we were out, but. Uh, if you guys like this type of video, hit that like button. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We appreciate the support. If you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. We'll try to get to those as soon as possible. If you have any questions about hooks or baits, all that stuff, we'll try and help you out uh, as much as possible. But guys, we appreciate the support. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys on the next video.